Hello, this is L, and this is the big one. The big jungle rescue base of the new 2020 summer rescue line. Set number 41424 has about 650 pieces, quite a few new animals and parts, and some really cool figures. Um, I did a parts review of this. That video should be out already. Check that out if you want a little bit more in-depth on the actual pieces and minifigures that you get from this set. Um, otherwise, this is going to be mostly the build and what you get kind of like that. So, let's take a look at the awesomeness of this set. So, first of all, you can see the concept is a treehouse kind of concept. But, everything in here is basically designed to help rescue animals. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our side builds first and kind of go from there. So one of the first side builds is what I'm calling the sleeping area. It's very small. You kind of have a bunk bed up here. Um, it fits our three figures that we have in the set. Um, has a little lantern here, some overgrowth, and some more overgrowth up here. Very simple design to kind of angle the roof. But it's a pretty cool effect. It's kind of really out in the open. Maybe they'll have a mosquito net or something at least over that. Um, but still kind of cool. Stickers on each of the beds. Representative of each character. Kind of with their colors that they like. Um, on the side here. We have basically a little table. With some sawed wood. Unfortunately these are not the actual printed pieces. They are the stickers. And we have a pizza on here, which is questionable because I don't think you're going to get a pizza in the jungle. I could be wrong, but two cups, two. Not, not that special. And kind of on here, I wonder if this kind of connects with it. There is another sawed off log down here. So you could kind of put this there to say you could have four people on it. Um, we'll take a closer look at that. Here we have a little container with just an apple and some green stems. Nothing too fancy there. Um, it does come with a little ATV or four-wheeler. You got some supplies. Maybe this is fire extinguisher there. We got some supplies there. It's a nice simple build. Um, pretty good for friends. I like it. The other thing too is that this little tiny stretcher, probably for the sloths in the set, can fairly easily come off and you can have two characters hold that and carry it around. Otherwise, it's a pretty cool look for such a simple little thing. You can imagine it driving through the jungle all fast. Speaking of the sloth, let's take a look at one. So here we have our little friend, and he is cute, kind of has a smile on his sleepy type face that sloths have, and he has some cute pink paws. Um, you can see that it's dual molded. He sits on one stud. Um, you can't really move him around on the stud, so he will have to be positioned a certain way. But you do get two of these in here. And this guy I have holding the walkie, maybe he snuck off with it, even though he probably didn't move very fast. But you do get two, and as far as I can tell with my eyes, they are identical. Pretty cute. Um, they do have the ability to hang on bars, and when I get to a piece that has that on there, I will show you that in a little bit. So, let's also take a look at our figures now. Here we have Mia with her medical gear, and she has uh, either a technical tablet or something, or you could say it's a clipboard, um, but you can see there's an x-ray of an elephant on there, a little stethoscope here, and a little medical type hat. And you can see pretty nice printing, pretty cool shoes. Printing does go to the back, which is a nice thing overall. Pretty nice little jungle Mia. She's got some cargo shorts going. Nice figure. And then here we have Andrea. And same thing, or Olivia, my apologies. Um, they have similar, somewhat, hair. Um, but yeah, you can really see kind of that jungly detail. Um, nice shoes and everything. She ha does have it go onto her back too, and you got her glasses there. Um, this is supposed to be a drone controller, um, and we'll show you the drone in a little bit here. But really nice jungle type figure. And here is Andrea. Um, I think this is kind of 
becoming my favorite one. I like the Olivia one, but I do kind of like that she has the gold boots still. Um, and a kind of a weird color pattern up there, which does continue on to the back. Otherwise, they both kind of wear the tan skirts. And she comes with a walkie with a new color for the heart, Vibrant Coral, on it. So you can imagine she's listening to the sloth uh, make weird noises on there. But just nice figures. I do kind of wish they all had uh, different hairs this time around. Because, I mean, they're it's starting to get old that they all have the same hairstyle that they've had for quite a long time. But let's get to something exciting here. And here is our purple baby elephant. I don't mind the colors. It's kind of a creative thing. If they would have just gone with a gray, it might have been a little too boring. I mean, we know what they look like. And this is the Friends universe, so maybe it's a little different. You can see the ears got some pink printing on. And this is supposed to represent water that spouts out of there. You have an accessory hole on the head and for the snout. One, one stud here, and otherwise two studs to put it on terrain. And our big, we'll say Mama Elephant, I'm not 100% sure. Um, similar kind of look overall. You can see the pink on the ears. Both side has more studs on the back because it is a bigger figure. We got a little tail that doesn't move. It's molded into there. Um, and then you have some tusks growing out with a trunk. And instead of the trunk having an accessory hole, it has a bar hole. So that it could hold bars and maybe the elephant could walk off with the if i can get it in there maybe not but it's it can hold bars so you can kind of put whatever you want in there not sure if i can get this in there and maybe it's just a sliding one which kind of would be disappointing actually i think the issue is the handle's not big enough but yeah you can put a bar in there um, actually, there's an extra bar right here. Let's try this out because I didn't do this before. So there you go. You can put a bar. I would imagine you would put like the little greenery in there because um, it would make it look like it's carrying it or eating it. But that's our big elephant and it, it is pretty big. Let's check it out next to a minifigure. Taller than a minifigure or mini doll. Um, they could stand on it if you really want them to. Um, but yep, that's that is that. Speaking of that being that, this pile here, we can kind of see here, this is all extra parts. I know it's kind of far away, but check out the parts video if you want a little more look at to that. So let's get kind of into the more of the builds here. I'll slide this all aside here except for this little guy. So this first little build is basically a side tree. Here we have what might be a very simple campfire burning a hot dog. Um, you probably don't want to leave fires burning without watching them, but here's an example of where a sloth can hang here, and they can kind of, well, do gymnastics right off of it, but if you kind of just do them a little gently at the right angle, they can kind of swing, you can kind of see there, um, and obviously the different ways that you hold it will make them hang on differently, but you can slide them on there, it's not a tight tight clip type thing do have an accessory hole up there but this is a nice little tree but there are some features on here so you can see this cut off branch which is kind of cool um this actually isn't relevant to the function this part back here is and when you do that you basically have it look like it starts on fire and i think this is a good representation of something you shouldn't do um if you have a fire here, and I think because this is with National Geographic, they're kind of showing, be careful with your fires, pay attention to them, don't leave them. Um, because the concept here is that there's a sloth up here hanging out, and then their fire wasn't taken care of. Burnt hot dog can tell you that. And then the fire starts burning the tree. And we don't want that. Trees are kind of important to everything. So kind of a nice little play feature and kind of a lesson in there. And probably why there's a fire extinguisher on the thing the four-wheeler um, but you can kind of see it's a pretty simple mechanism it kind of looks confusing when you're first building it but then once you do it like this it makes sense so just flips each part up and then there's flames there nice little tree build very it's kind of flat but you can you have an action feature and such like that but that is just a tiny little side build here we have this giant thing here let's see if we can uh zoom in and we'll go 
from the top on down. So here we have the command tower, command post, we could say. Um, and you can see that there is a spyglass type thing. Very simple build. I've seen better ones. We have a solar panel up here. This, I think, correlates to an alarm type system. So, like, suddenly there's a fire somewhere and there's an animal in danger. This will blare out an alarm. This red light will go off. And there was a, there's one by the bed, so they'll wake up if that alarm's going off, which is kind of cool. Um, move this out of the way. And on the back, you can see, like, a little computer with a coffee mug there. And this little computer pops out pretty easy. And on the screen, you can see our little sloth and we can imagine that this is the exact scenario that's happening the trees on fire that the sloths hanging in they're not the fastest so they need help so the alarm goes off and you can check the computer and say oh what's going on and there you go um you have nice like leaves all over this thing so it does make it look like a tree um you got a nice pink ladder here which i'm a big fan of and then this guy is actually the drone that olivia controls and it uses a really kind of interesting... This is the first drone I think I've really reviewed. And it's pretty cool. I like that it has their her robot head on there. And you got a little antenna here. And then you can imagine these are the helicopter type blades to have it fly around and look for help. Um, but it has a little place where it can stand here. Just like that. We'll take them off so we can look around. So here we have just basically a little area. You can stand not too much there, but that goes down to the slide. You can kind of see here. It's kind of cool because it goes right around the tree. You can't see until we kind of zoom it back out. Um, but you can see it comes down right here. Pretty cool that it has a complete circle around, which I think is pretty nice. And then over here, we have a really unique build for a walkway you can kind of see here. Um, it uses one of those roller coaster railings and then this design for the I really like this. I think that's really cool. Um, big fan of that whole entire design. These are just kind of clipped on and you can slide them up and down. But then we get to the probably I would say the main rescue area. There's lots of stuff here that you can kind of pull out. Here we have a bed and on the head of the bed we got a light and a little IV type thing. Um, pretty cool sticker for the, the hospital rescue bed sheet type thing. Um, then we have up here, obviously, this is kind of the rescue sign, more solar panels. And again, this is on a pretty cool little simple design. And here we have easily popped out little tool chests here and things that hold different medical supplies that you might need in helping out your sloths that might have gotten burned. And it pops in there fairly easy. Um, I like that they do allow these to pop out, especially for reviewing right now. But here we have just more stuff. You can imagine this is a refrigerator with water or something in it. Um, another whatever you can imagine. There's a sticker in the back that kind of has more medicine on it. And a nice little tiny light up there. So you got a lot of different little medical supplies in a rather small area. But it kind of does the job. Stairs come down here. And then when we go down, we got a nice little stair area here to get completely off of the tree. And here it's pretty cool. Just kind of has some overgrowth. Um, you can see flowers and plants everywhere. You got a special one in the water. If I can quickly pull this out, I can show you that this is a new kind of colored piece. Again, like I said, I kind of did more in my parts review. But it's that satin blue, and they kind of put it on the water here to represent that, you know, there's water there. I'm not a big fan of that, but I kind of understand. Maybe there's areas that are bubbling up or whatever. And here we actually have one of our other animals. There's even another one in here. We have a turtle, and they kind of describe it as a sea turtle. It has an accessory on top, kind of fits on one stud, but it doesn't have much movement on one stud. They just have them hanging out on the beach there. Here we have a little broom, nothing too fancy here, um, just a broom standing up, um, and then here is the base of the slide. We have a bucket here, and like I said, that cut of wood. But let's spin it around and see what we have on the other side, because yes, there is even more. So over here we just kind of have these support posts, which are a nice part to get 
Um, so there's not too much back here. Um, you have some detailing on there, more leaves. I love getting all the leaves. Um, otherwise, it's basically a simple tree here and more water, you can imagine. It's a nice overhang like cave area that you could probably hang out in. And you can see this flower here more. But right here is actually their bathroom, which admittedly I don't think is a good idea to have up here because if there's any smells coming out, it's going to go right into there. So we open this up and there's a control thing here. I don't know what that's for. Um, I'm not 100% sure. We can imagine that they brought toilet paper with them to the jungle here. Um, otherwise, it's a simple toilet and they actually used for the back um, a sticker on there to represent the back of the toilet, which is something kind of interesting. Normally they don't do that, I don't think. You can see the flush handle there. Not sure how it flushes in the jungle, but oh well. It's creativity. Um, but yeah, so this even has a bathroom in the back here. I, that's something I didn't know from like the pictures that I've seen. But overall, let's see if I can't zoom out of this a little bit. Um, this is the main part of the set, not even including the side stuff. And I have to say, I really like this set. Um, getting it and doing like the parts review really showed me that it has a lot of cool parts. Um, and a lot of the parts that I don't necessarily like getting a lot of because you get a lot of them. There isn't very many in there. Um, the amount of animals you get, if I can get them all together kind of is a lot and especially since the elephants are new and the slots are new that's a pretty good selection of animals and this is a big piece you know and probably difficult to mold and stuff so i really think the value is there in this set um it's going to be a personal thing do you like it um if you like the jungle this is awesome if you like having lots of areas for figures to play around this is cool as a display piece i even still kind of like this because you have a big look for a tree that's really colorful um there's a lot going on i think it's just awesome overall um I, when i saw this set i was in awe and thought it was so awesome i got really excited um and i went out and even bought the old jungle rescue but i've been talking for a long time you clearly know my opinion on this one um i love it it's got a lot of cool features for a kid it has a good amount of area to play different play features a lot of things to imagine could be happening etc um it is the larger jungle rescue set but it's i think it's still worth it lots of cool parts really cool look to it if there was one minor complaint that i would have is that this water area here just seems really plain and a little awkward um, I would have liked a little more detailing or water pieces here. Otherwise, everything looks pretty good. And even from the back, it looks pretty good. I personally don't like the slides, but whatever. I like the color of the slides at least. But yep, that's all I really got to say about this set. I want to thank you for watching. If you've made it through this really long video, awesome. Really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed listening to what I have to say about this neat set. And maybe you'll go out and buy it because of that. Um, check out the parts review if you want a little bit more in depth on the parts that it comes with. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching <laughs> and I'm going to be doing more of these. So we'll see you in the next videos.